Alright, last up we have Typhlosion. Alright, we're going to be taking a look at some interesting facts about Typhlosion. So for Typhlosion's information, his weight is 79.5 kilograms, his height is 1.7 meters, he is a fire type, his abilities are blaze and flash fire which is its hidden ability, his catch rate is 45 which is also 11.9%, it evolves from Quilava starting at level 36, and it is the final form of Cyndaquil. And for its entry, Typhlosion obscures itself behind a shimmering heat haze that it creates using its intensely hot flames. This Pokemon creates blazing explosive blasts that burn everything to cinders. Wow, it looks like Typhlosion's gonna be burning everything to cinders there. Unless if he learns Explosion, which would be impossible. Now when it comes to Typhlosion being in the TV series, he's made two major appearances. So for Jimmy's Typhlosion, well, Typhlosion debuted in The Legend of Thunder under the ownership of Jimmy. It was his starter Pokemon, which he got as a Cyndaquil from Professor Elm. So that was pretty cool that Cyndaquil has a great bond with Jimmy. And a Typhlosion appeared in Poetry Commotion under the ownership of Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore sent it out to stop Team Rocket from making off with Flannery's Torkoal. It reappeared in a flashback in Going Going Yawn. While it looks like Typhlosion has made some great appearances in the anime, even though he didn't actually appear in the Johto Journeys where Ash and his friends uh, have visited. Alright, so here is Typhlosion's shiny form. So basically for his shiny form, his back turns a, a reddish brownish color, which I still think that Gen 2 shinies were much better for, for Typhlosion. So, it's pretty disappointing that we got this shiny like that, but here is the QR code if you ever want to register him into Pokemon Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Oh, and here are some other facts that you didn't know about Typhlosion, is that Typhlosion and Charizard, along with their respective evolutionary lines, have exactly the same base stats in the same distribution, and Infernape also shares the same base stat total, though its individual stats differ. Also, Typhlosion and Togetic are the only Pokemon officially introduced in Generation 2 not to appear in the anime until the next generation. So it looks like Typhlosion and Togetic were able to appear in the anime in later generations, but not the Generation 2 anime. And Typhlosion shares its category with Quilava and Entei. They are all known as the Volcano Pokemon. And additionally, they are all capable of learning Eruption. So it looks like Typhlosion can cause uh, massive eruptions with its flames. Well, he is a great Pokemon after all. Good job, Typhlosion. And there you guys have it. Those are some interesting facts for the whole Cyndaquil Evolution line. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell for notifications. Check out my gaming videos, and also don't forget to check out Pokemon Plush Toy videos, Super Mario Plush Adventures, Kirby Plush Adventures, and Sonic Plush Adventures. And request me some more videos that you would like to see in the future. So see you guys next time. Bye! Cyndaquil! It looks like I'll be bursting with flames because... When I evolve, I'm going to cause an eruption. <laughs>